Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. A wintry mix of weather is in the offing. Right now, our western counties from the uh, Foster and Stutzman County area down through Dickey and Lamore, freezing rain advisory there. Good chance that many more of us will see some freezing drizzle, freezing rain, or freezing fog during the overnight hours. The tricky part is this time of the year with the warmer ground in some spots, uh, uh, some snowpack in other spots, how much of it will accumulate and become icy. Nonetheless, Icy conditions for your morning commute are a likely bet, a good bet for many of us, and you'll want to allow extra time and extra distance if you're traveling. This storm system now, just like the last one, just leaping over the Rocky Mountains. It's just getting started. But out ahead of it, we got this south and southeast flow bringing more moist air into the valley, and that's causing an increase in clouds. And our radar really lighting up right now, but not a lot of this is reaching the ground. Now, where you see the deeper blue shades, the more deep pink colors here, pink being a frozen type of precipitation showing up on our high definition dual polarization radar information. So the radar is actually picking up different types of precipitation in the sky. What's falling down to the ground depends on that temperature within that lowest few hundred meters down to the ground. So here's what we're looking at. Not all of this reaching the ground, but as the atmosphere becomes more saturated, some of it will start reaching the ground even before the end of the night tonight. Winds gusty out of the southeast to 30 miles per hour out at Hector right now. It's 36 degrees. 34 in Moorhead. Winds are gusting to 28 miles per hour. They're from that southeasterly direction. And our dew points are in the 20s. And for winter months, 20s, not too bad. That's a little bit of moisture in the air. We have temperatures that are coolest out to the east where the snow has piled up. But the rest of us are still holding on to those 30s. Your hour-by-hour hour forecast shows this. Let's set it into motion with a good old-fashioned button push. Here we go. Boom. We're going to see gusty south winds continuing between 8 and 10. A chance for some of this activity to start reaching the ground in the James River Valley, up in the Devil's Lake Basin, through southeast North Dakota. Now, as we head through the 10 o'clock hour, that's when we'll start to see it making its appearance in southeast North Dakota. And some of us will just get good old-fashioned flaky weather in the form of snow hitting the ground. That the best chance of persistent and continuous on again off again flaky snow weather is where we'll see the highest accumulation northern valley northwest minnesota but look at this mess we paused at 215 in the morning in case you're out walking the cat it looks like it's going to be icy cats do not like to walk on ice hutch does not like to drive on ice so it wants you to be careful gusty south winds and by daybreak an icy mix in the southern valley with snow that will have piled up in places that got nothing from our last storm in northwest Minnesota. Now, let's take you through your day. Temperatures in the 30s, and that's where we'll stay all day with on again, off again flaky weather, primarily from the Red River Valley counties of North Dakota out to the east. Still a chance for some rain and a mixture of precipitation down south. Again, thanks to the weather moving up from the south, by the evening, a big batch of moisture makes its way in. And our southern Minnesota is going to get hit pretty good with this system, including the Twin Cities once again and points between here and there. But more snow is in our forecast as well. How much, you say? Well, first of all, watch out this in the morning because it's going to be icy. There's going to be a layer of ice. Some areas could pick up a good amount of accumulation of a tenth, maybe a little bit more up in that Devil's Lake area. Snow, I think, in the Red River Valley and points east will be one to three inches, although we're going to have pockets where... It snows more persistently in northwest Minnesota. It's more likely places like Hallock and Roseau, where we could have a few spots getting three to six snow machine ready type of snow. 30 degrees in Fargo to start your day. A little bit of ice on those north facing sidewalks and roads covered up by periods of light snow on again and off throughout the day. But our snow chances increase dramatically in the latter half of our day between five and 10 o'clock. 30s everywhere across the board. It looks like a cloudy and wintry type of day. Beautiful scene here. This is Steele County out west where there is no snow on the ground yet. We'll see what happens. Here's a look at your Wednesday planner for your pre-Thanksgiving day forecast. Uh, a little bit of morning snow showers from this exiting system mainly out to the east on Thanksgiving day. Yet another system moves up from the south affecting our South Dakota counties. We'll put a 30 percent chance of Fargo flakes in the forecast then quieter for the travels home on the upcoming weekend. Quiet is good if you're shopping Thursday night or Friday morning. Right, and if you're doing that online variety, yeah, the even, weather is not easier. going to affect you. Right. <laughs> yeah, thank you.